Hi everyone, it's Paula here. I am just here to do a quick flip through of number 32. This journal is made out of an old book and I again collage podge some old pages underneath this kit page which is from a vintage garden, Ephemera's Vintage Garden. And I used uh, Inca Gold and Maya Gold around the edges of it and inked it with Tim Holtz as well, vintage photo, and layered some um, cheesecloth and these rosettes on the spine. And this is the back. And it's got two signatures and I used the Tim Holtz hitch post with seam binding closure and this book is eight and a quarter almost eight and a half by almost six and let's go inside <clears throat> I love this kit oopsie stuck on the inside I just used um, part of the kit as the inside cover and then just used some cardstock I had for um, covering up the spine and I did a lot of sewing inside here and layering with page, book pages and tsunami rose flowers and just miscellaneous tags I got, I made this one out of the same paper as that, and this one I think is Cameo Shop, and I tried to put a lot of birds in this one, birds and flowers, and the kit, I can't remember the name of the kit, but I'll try to put it in the description below. Okay, over here I just put a little um, little bag and put this tag inside. Did some layering with some flowers and this is just a tag I was messing around with that I thought ended up kind of cute so I stuck that in here. And behind is this tag, journaling card, and one of these bridge cards and just a big tag that I made stamped a quarter on the back <clears throat> I did um, corrugated lines again and some stamping and I sprayed my pages with that glimmer mist spray again after I coffee dyed them I just love the way it makes it feel and there's doilies there's flip ups and some layering these are from these are little chipboard pieces from Graphic 45. And this image I got off the internet. And this is Tsunami Rose, and I just made a little fold over with it. And I touched my glue gun and put a blister on myself. I swear, I'm burning myself or something every time I craft. And my doilies I just sprayed with Glimmer Mist. And over here I did a bunch of layering and a bunch of tags inside. And this is made out of an oatmeal bag, a recycled oatmeal bag. And I just did a bunch of layering on there and just tucked this little image inside there. And I just made this tag, which has this tag inside as well, out of some extra paper, and just put this bow on there Vonnie sent me. Um, just some extra ephemera pieces, cameo shop, tsunami rose. Oops, these ones go inside the bag. And did some stamping. Little flowers. I 
I used some of these receipt things that I got in my stash and a little flip down with corrugated chipboard um, heart and did some layering. And this image I got off the Pinterest or the internet from Mrs. Tsunami Rose. I mixed a couple kits in here too just because I like the flowers. And all the lace is from um, Hobby Lobby. And I used some little tiny lunch bags and made these little pockets out of it. And this I got off of Google, off the internet. I can never get them back in there once I get them out. Oh, I'll do it later. And I just did some layering there and put these, made these little tickets out of my stamp set that I got. And this big old tag behind it. I'll see, let me see if I can do it. I do not know why I cannot do this very well. I must not have glued down the little sides is what I'm assuming. Now I'll just put it behind it for right now. I'll put it in later. And did some stamping. This page is sprayed. Wish you could see the glimmer. It's just so pretty. I love it. Lots of journaling places. And I just made a belly band out of a book page. And put lace and fibers and layered this hand on there. And I got that off of Google. And these, I think, are Tsunami Rose, I believe. I hope I'm saying that right. I know this is Tsunami Rose. Some old school paper. And I just did some doily tucks right there. And this is Tsunami Rose. And I just layered on this little tag and put this little tuck in there. Put that in there. Try some tracing paper. And in the middle I did two big pockets. I think a Femmer's Vintage Garden. Tsunami Rose again. And this one I put um, a tablet paper inside. I made a booklet out of it. And these flip up. Both sides flip up for journaling. And this image I got off the internet. And this is Snowy Rose again. Oops, I glued it. Oh, I hate it when I do that. Some more tracing paper. I got this shoe off the internet and I just added that little bling right there and some cheesecloth underneath it. And you can tuck behind that as well, right there. And this is some extra paper from Tsunami Rose. And the guest check. Another, I think, actually, I think these are off of Pinterest, is where I got those. And they got birds on them. I think that's where I got those. And this is. Just a little pocket with a little tag inside. I tuck behind the shoe. Sprayed that page. And I just made a little double tuck right here out of some book pages and did some layering. And this is a little envelope. I didn't put anything in that one. I got those off of Pinterest. This is Tsunami Rose. And it's got the journey card inside. And I just folded it differently so it's a top loading envelope instead of the other way. And I just added some lace right there. Tuck that in there. And just some notes. Another bigger lunch bag and I just 
Made a little tuck spot out of that butterfly and put some bling and lace. And I sewed all the bags are sewn on. And I just tucked this inside. I don't know why I'm not very good at stuffing them back in there. And then this one behind it. Tsunami rose flowers. And I just made a tuck side tuck out of this. I got this off of internet and layered some lace and flower. And this is um, one of the images out of my Pride and Prejudice book. And that has just some extra paper, Tsunami Rose, and then this journaling card. And then this flips open for extra journaling. Let's see. I just love the way that looks, being sprayed like that. And here's another little bag I just layered. This is Ephemera's Vintage Garden, I believe, and the Tsunami Rose Flowers. Sue Wilson's little dress forms. I put a button on it, and then this is just a little index card I made a tag out of. And in the bag, I put this one, Tsunami Rose, and I just put this little crocheted flower on there and tuck that in there. And this is Tsunami Rose. That's the first signature. And I just did a little tuck out of a doily over here and did some layering with the dust check. And these are Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Another little tuck spot and another image out of my Pride and Prejudice book. Oops, I'm get it in there right. Tsunami Rose. And this flips out. And this is just a little ticket I made with my stamp and I just put a butterfly and some cheesecloth and it's extra journaling space. And tucked this one behind it. Made another band or belly band and just sewed on that. Put these behind it. Another doily. Oopsie. A little tuck spot with these tags. Um, a little banner, and I just layered that. Um, little Cardboard heart. I can't talk tonight. I don't know why I'm tired, I guess. And this did some layering. And this um, was gifted to me by Bonnie. Super thought that was so cute. Love all them butterflies on there. And this one I just made out of some extra cardstock and I just embossed the bottom of it. And I just made a little tuck right here. This is Graphic 45, um, Internet, and an envelope. And another pocket, and these both flip up again. So you can write on all of that. And I guess check. This is Tsunami Rose. And over here. I think this one is Tsunami Rose too. I don't have a card inside, but an old time card. And Tsunami Rose. both tsunami rows right here and this is just some extra paper I had I just made an envelope out of it and 
Another sewn lunch bag. And in the front pocket, I have this one. It's Bo Bunny. A little ticket and a bottom time card. And inside the bag, I have this tag. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, it went in the first time. And I just did some stenciling on this big old tag. Tucked it behind it. This one got a little chunky too with all the sewing. They just get chunky monkey. Try to leave a lot of journaling space. I just put that butterfly on there. Another sewn bag. And put this little tag. And I put some lines on the back of the big old flower. String. <clears throat> Another card inside the bag. Oh my gosh, it works twice in a row. Do you believe that? And some more extra paper. And I just put stapled it together and put this on there for the tucking and I put extra paper inside it as well I don't know how many pages but there's like four six pages inside for journaling I thought that was cute and another belly band I just sewed everything on there. And index card. And the card. <coughs> Excuse me. And that is the back. Super love this. The way it turned out. I just, just love this so much. Sometimes it's really hard to get rid of them. <laughs> this one is um, already sold, but I wanted to share it with you. And thank you so much for watching, and I will have another video probably in the next week or so with another one. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.